This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. In this video, I'm about to show you how to upgrade or just change the RAM in the brand new 2012 27-inch iMac. This is the slim version that just came out. And the reason I'm showing you this is because a lot of people don't like to upgrade their RAM when they're buying their iMac from Apple themselves because Apple definitely overcharges on their RAM upgrades. So the best way and the cheapest way is to buy your RAM from a third party and then just install it yourself. And now the first thing you need to do is just to simply power down your iMac if it's on and then unplug the power cable from the back of the iMac. Now just set that cord to the side and now you need to look inside that port where you just removed the cord from and you'll see a button at the top. Now you need to press this button all the way in but it's a little too deep for you to just be able to use your finger. So you can find something like a pencil or I just found like a micro or mini USB cable and you can just simply push that in it'll depress that button all the way in and then now that'll just pop off the cover of your RAM capsule. Now as you're setting that cover to the side you will notice that Apple did print the instructions on how to install or upgrade your new RAM inside of there but I'm about to walk you through that very quickly. Now take a look inside the RAM capsule this is what I'm calling it. Uh, you'll see two little prongs that you actually need to push out so you push them out at the same time and that will lower the RAM capsule. Now to pull the RAM out, you simply just slide them out directly towards you. And now when you're ready to go into install your new RAM, you will notice that you have four individual RAM slots in this 27 inch iMac. And when you go to push them in, they have two little grooves on each side of those slots and you simply line them up, push them in, make sure they're seated, just give them a, a, nice, a nice little push to them. And then you're basically set to go. So now that you have all your new RAM installed, you simply need to push the RAM capsule back up and push the prongs in now now and then it'll basically just seat the capsule inside of the iMac and then now you need to put the cover back on and make sure it is flush with the iMac now the only way to make sure your RAM is installed correctly is just to turn the machine on itself so after you turn it on if you're able to boot all the way up into Mac OS 10 you are good to go now if you do turn it on you see like a gray screen and you hear, hear a lot of beeps and things like that that means that your RAM is not installed correctly and the cause of this can be either one or two things either one you have the wrong type of RAM for this particular computer so you need to double check that or two your RAM just hasn't been installed correctly so you maybe you bent the RAM module or you did something crazy to it. You just need to go and take the lid off, double check to make sure everything is seated correctly, nice and tight in there, and then uh, try the process again. But now after you do get the RAM installed correctly, simply go into the left-hand corner and click that Apple logo and click about this Mac, and it will show you how much RAM that you have installed on this computer. Now again, in my case, I didn't upgrade the RAM. I kept it at 16 gigabytes, um, so it still shows 16 gigabytes, so I am good to go. And if you see the exact number of RAM that you installed, hey, you're all set. All right, guys, so well, that's been a quick tutorial on how to install RAM in the new 27-inch iMac. But before I do in this video, it's going to take one that's look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. This is a very serious message because from now until New Year's Day, the police are going to be out in full force trying to catch people drunk driving. Now, I know I've admitted in the past that I have been uh, you know, guilty of driving while drunk or even just driving while a little tipsy. And you may feel that, you know, and I, I felt in my case that oh, I'm driving a little slower. I may not, you know, I'm not going to get an accident because I'm driving slower than usual. Uh, but your reflex will definitely be slower and you may not even be the cause of the accident. But because you are a little tipsy or maybe drunk, you can't react fast enough and that can make things worse. In December 2010, um, of all the crashes that happened after nighttime with drunk driving, 78% of them were fatal. So this is definitely a serious message. So bottom line, guys, drunk driving is stupid. Get a designated driver or just call a cab. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about this tutorial. If there are any other tutorials that you may want to see me cover in the future, leave that comment down below. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.